Hello, I'm JW. Today we're going to have a quick look at this switch, which has been sent in by Graham now. This was sent in to enter the collection, which is all on display at flameport.com, if you didn't already know. Now, uh, you may have already guessed what this switch is, but let's have a close look at the back and see if your guess was actually correct. Now, this looks like a three-pole fan isolator, and those are used for things like bathroom extractors, where you have your line, switch line, and neutral. So three in at the top, three in out at the bottom. These normally get stuck above the bathroom door or somewhere else inaccessible. And that's what basically this is moulding for. But uh, on the back, you can see that actually it's just got three terminals, and this is in fact just a two-way light switch. So common and L1 are connected in one position, common and L2 are connected in the other position, and all these little holes are just holes not actually used. So it's just literally on and off. It is marked at the top here, it says for single pole one way use L2, so you would use common and uh, L2 for that, and that's so that when it's uh, on the wall the correct way up, which is this way, logo at the top, off is in the up position and on is there. If you use the other ones it would simply be the other way up, so obviously it wouldn't be exactly what you wanted. BS3676 at the top there, made in England, and uh, this is uh, number 7724 apparently, or at least the uh, moulding part is. And we can see that the back of this is actually the old MK design, as that's just got the oval logo on there, so this is a bit of a mixed match of uh, old bits, and then the bit on the front with the newer logo, so a bit of a combination there. And again it's got the screws on the back here, so in theory you could uh, take this apart and put the other mechanisms in there to make a two-gang switch with a single rocker on the front if you wanted to. So. This dates from the ages when you could uh, literally just change bits and pieces of these around yourself and uh, take it apart and put it back together, which you unfortunately can't do on the newer versions. So thanks to Graham for sending that one in. Pictures of this will be on the website at flameport.com. And until next time, thanks for watching.